Fred is always talking about your BSA basics, and uh, I don't really know what that is, and um, I'm sure there's other people that would like to hear more about that. Can you describe what that is all about? Sure. Uh, BSA basics is what I consider module one of a series of modules and seminars that mm -hmm. I put together. The basic module involves how to muscle test patients, but from a very uh, easy standpoint, very honest way of muscle testing, so you can actually communicate with the patient's body in an unbiased manner, so you can get closer to what's truly going on in your body. Mm -hmm. With that, we teach many different body reflex points for various organ dysfunctions, uh, ways of dealing with emotional stress in the body, chemical stress, and structural stress. The basic premise of what we do in chiropractic, but it's any uh, situation that anyone can test for these types of interferences. So you're saying that you can teach people how to test, like how to work on themselves? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And their family and loved ones. For doctors and practitioners, it takes their diagnostic skills to just another level of the ability to determine things that maybe the patient might be fibbing a little bit about, that they're maybe they want to stay on insurance a little longer, maybe they mm -hmm. have their own psychological hang-ups about needing a pat on the back from somebody and let you see what truly is going on. Sometimes you don't always have what you've got. What you've got are a bunch of symptoms Right. that if a doctor just is looking at it from a blasé standpoint, well, you have this, this, and this, you must have that disease. Therefore, take this drug, end of story. But everybody has these things where they do what they think is best and it doesn't work. They have these hang-ups, these roadblocks. In BSA Level 1, the basics, we teach how to start identifying where those roadblocks are how to reward the body. I do integrate a lot of Fred's products with the bulldozer pad to help hold some of the major components of the way their body breaks down carbohydrate and metabolizes carbohydrate. Besides neurological interference in the spine, which is a chiropractic approach to adjusting the spine to help clear that out, mm -hmm. the quantitative and the qualitative, all those nerve signals run on energy. It's called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That's the energy that we get either from carbohydrate proteins or fats and lipids. And the carbohydrate is a non-essential nutrient. You never have to eat carbohydrate to stay alive. It's in all the medical books, Guyton's textbook of physiology. There's many doctors out there writing books now in the bookstores for the public. Carbohydrates are not needed, but we all have essential proteins, essential amino acids. We have essential fatty acids, essential fats that we have to have. So well, I guess that's the, the concept of the high protein diet. <clears throat> I mean, well, to oh, a certain degree, yeah. and cutting out the carbohydrates. I just say eat a normal diet. <laughs> right. But everybody wonders well, what's what is normal. That? Yeah, see, that's the thing. What is normal? Exactly. And then you also have a program called BSA Advanced. Mm -hmm. So, where does it go yeah. with that next level? Yeah. With the basics, the module one, we teach this major part of the carbohydrate metabolism corrections, mm -hmm. which has been in chiropractic for over 50 years. All these body reflex points to get the residual part that still needs to be turned on, eliminate the emotional interferences, and address the beginning stages of electromagnetic disharmonies in the body, which some people refer to as allergies and things like that, mm -hmm. sense, food sensitivities and that. From there, when we go to advanced, I basically, in my educational philosophy of the way I teach, I reteach module one. To them, it's like a refresher. They don't understand this, but they get it, actually. But then I throw in many, many bo more body points. You can only do so much in a three-day period with the basic seminar. So we throw in a whole bunch more of the base or the, the additional body points mm -hmm. and some additional procedures so that now they have really, in Module 1 and 2, basic and advanced, they have a fully encompassing uh, method that they can communicate with the body. And the principles of healing that I introduce in Module 1 they start to actually see happening in module two, the wow. advanced. Because now they've actually had time to work on a few people and they say, hey, this stuff really does work. I don't have to believe in it. I don't have to try it. I know it works. And now they've developed their own certainty, right? certainty of cause so that they can actually be on purpose with what they're doing. And when you truly are on purpose with what you do, you can be very successful, whether it's financially, or just a family, your family is healthier, and children in school, their grades are better. But that certainty of what you're doing in your life, they start to see developing, and they develop this energy, this excitement about their own life. That's what happens in the advanced. 
Fred always refers to as the Cheshire grin of the people when they walk out. They finally start to understand it's not just about trying to treat colds and sniffles and diarrhea and runny nose and those kind of things. It's about improving the quality of their life, which right. is something he asked me, well, what do you do when we first came up with what are you going to call what you do what you do? And I said, well, jokingly, BS analysis. And then, well, what does the sense B and the S stand for? Specific analysis. Okay. Body specific, because that's what we teach people to look at every encounter, whether you're a doctor with a patient, a counselor with a, a, a client, is to look at them specifically, visit to visit, encounter to encounter. Their bodies are going to change, hopefully, from one visit to the next. Mm -hmm. If they're not changing, you're not doing anything. You're just taking your money and wasting everybody's time. If you're getting results, things will change. And they'll progressively get better and better. There'll be a few you know, downfalls, but right. they will get better and better as the patient gets more turned on. And that's basically what my motto in life is, and is on my business cards, is turn on your life. Mm -hmm. It's not just about your health. It's not just about your finances. It's not just about your position in life and how you feel about yourself. Do you feel good about yourself and these kinds of things. But as you get all of that body, mind, and spirit, functioning together mm -hmm. and it's the energetics and the harmonics that hold that all together you become successful mick jagger said you don't do the thing that you do bad very well it was very bad english he did but it was a quote that he put out but you do do you'll be very successful at what you do do if you do it well and you only do what you do well if you like what you do right liking what you do right no matter what it is if you don't like what you do don't do it well and i mean that and that's, that's you know, and most people spend their lives doing things they, many people, they don't like to do just to pay the bills. And, and you know, there's, um, you know, I agree with you on that. It's like when people, you know, really are doing, they find a way to monetize, uh, yeah. you know. They find their purpose. Right. But you're talking right. about getting other things out of the way that are distractions right. from them being able to focus on what their real true purpose is. Yeah. And you know, the advanced level, we sometimes talk about acceptance, acceptance of wealth, acceptance mm -hmm. of poverty, mm -hmm. acceptance of life, acceptance of death. Right. You should be strong and coherent on all of those. When none of that bothers you anymore, all the other things you become, there's no roadblocks, you become successful. So the advanced really also encompasses, you know, obviously more than just chiropractic techniques and other, I mean, yeah. it's wonderful because you're taking it to another level. It becomes a more transformational right. step right. into what I have developed in the body specific analysis mm -hmm. as 12 individual modules, some of which are very experiential in confronting your own fears. Mm -hmm. If you're afraid of heights, I take you out rock climbing without ropes. If you're afraid of lightning, we go out in a lightning storm. If you're afraid of survival, you you know, take you out, let's live for a couple of weeks. Wow. wow. But that's very high. And then there's other modules that deal with this more uh, mystical aspect that people always wonder about, the electromagnetic fields and the auras and things like that. Right. There's a lot of these different things that people have masked from all those other cultural aspects that some people are into that and they're not into the treating patients. But yes. Well, and I think that's one of the things that when I hear you talk about what you do is that you talk about empowering people so that they don't have to come back to you. And I think that people will go, well, why would you do that? How does that wow. serve your business? What's your purpose in there? Perfect. What's the catch? Perfect question. A patient will refer more people to you when you get them well and they don't have to come back. Mm -hmm. You want to be it if you're a doctor. You, I would find it important to be seeing the same ten people every day for year after year after year. If you see different people, you actually, when you get down to the bottom line, you're going to make way more money by seeing different people, and they're referring more people to you right. than the same disgruntled people. It's these doctors who base their just on pain. If you got pain, come to me. What happens when you get rid of the pain? You lose the patient. What happens if you don't get rid of the pain? You okay. lost the patient. Right. I don't treat pain. I don't treat disease. I don't treat anything. I just remove the obstacles and let the power that made the body heal the body from above down the inside out. There's really only two diseases, really just one. There's either a disease of too much or too little in mm -hmm. the physiological realm. But the one cause of all disease is the body's inability to control and communicate between its internal and external environment. Mm -hmm. Look at all diseases, there's no difference. So really, I'm only treating the one disease in every patient. 
the fact is they're alive. Because when you're alive, you got a process called death coming along eventually. And all our job in life is to enjoy that part that we have and extend it as long as possible. And that's what the first two modules help you with, is getting that body turned on so you can enjoy that life. Right. And, and you know, you know how many people that I'm sure that you see and that I see that don't utilize their God-given talents and the abilities that they have and they want to, but other things, life situations, like you say, pain, you know, something will get in the way of them manifesting that in their lives. And I think it's really neat for, for people who are listening to you to listen to a doctor who, you know, understands, you know, how that's yeah. really all connected other than just and that's as we talked about in chiropractic we have this thing we call the safety pin cycle mm -hmm. kind of a metaphor the brain cell to the tissue cell and the tissue cell back to the brain cell it's a discommunication within the body mm -hmm. we have that in society we have that between culture between religion we create and start wars over this right where does it all start somebody's body is not communicating between their brain cell and tissue cell if that can be cleared out and they start thinking clearly, they may get along with another culture or another mm -hmm. society or another group of people, and maybe we'd have less wars. So there's a bigger idea, and that was not original to me. It was B.J. Palmer again. It was his big idea, the utopia, mm -hmm. that the adjustment or the correction or the rubbing of a reflex or a tapping of an acupuncture point or the release of an emotional connection, whatever it is that we do, releases the body's genetic potential. So you can have the unfoldment of the genetic potential. Who knows what that is? There is no top limit to that. Mm -hmm. When you have that, societies start to communicate. Just like brain cell to tissue cell communicates. The presidents communicate to the Congress. The Congress mm -hmm. communicates to the public. The Politburo, if you're in Russia or wherever you are, all these governments communicate. Religions communicate. Well, and that's true. I've traveled with some pretty well-known politicians and told some incredible stories about when things were solved by just getting out of an office and taking a walk and communicating just, you know, yeah. authentically rather than in some of the other ways that That's what things happen. Again, body specific on the higher spiritual yeah. level is about is that communicating ultimately even with your own belief of what God is, who right. God is, it's getting that connection yeah. makes you more whole and as a society makes the whole society whole. Right. Well, it's been just such a pleasure to get to spend some time and learn more about what you do and who you are, Dr. Hyman. And thank you, thank you so much again for being Hello. here with us today. Thank you. Thank you.